Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, this video I'm going into C++. Um, so, uh, actually I'm beginning learning. Uh, I know a little bit more, uh, uh, over the ba basics. So, uh, if you're wondering, I'm using Bloodshed Dev C++ as a, as my compiler. I also have, uh, blocks, uh, code blocks, uh, installed, but I prefer to use, uh, uh, dev C++. So I'm gonna open up any project console application and type a name for your um, project. Make it a C++ project and press OK. Now I'm gonna save this one. I'm gonna delete everything. So first I'm gonna include something. Include uh, IO stream. And include string. I actually don't know if I use the string uh, command uh, stuff, but it actually I do it do it forehand. So um, actually, I didn't set where the tutorial tutorial is going about. Um, it's about uh, making and using functions. So just uh, watch. So now I'm going further with the code it's using name space std I'm gonna explain this later and now I'm gonna do int main so using s using namespace std means that uh, if you are using count let's say c out actually but I use count um, you can do it like this, and you can print something in the dialog. But if you don't put the using namespace behind it, you have to type in std colon colon and then c out or count. So that's the reason of the using namespace std. So let's say I want to uh, count something that is hello YouTube. Hello. YouTube. Okay, and I'm gonna end the line with the easy code and L. It means just end line and close this one with a semicolon. You also can put it behind this one slash N, but I use uh, to do and L. So now I'm going to type in system. So actually it's going to add a cmd command I think. So pause it and then return 0 and close that one, this one too I'll ask again. So let's see if it's compiled, if I can compile it. Change the name to whatever you want. Yes, if you see linking, if the status is linking and then you see uh, exe, then there will be no errors. So it says just hello YouTube. Very nice, but it can be a little bit nicer using functions. Let's say I want to do this and another one, another time, count uh, hello YouTube. I have to count it again. You can obviously you can copy it, but you just have a very uh, uh yeah a nice a code of a line of code on I mean. it. So it just not good because you can lose sight over your program when you have like uh just some randomly stuff. If you want to count this uh, like I like. Uh, like 20 times this will be very bad you can keep sight on your program so I'm going to delete this and this too but let's go to the function so it's above int main and type in class let's say YouTube be careful because it's a uh, case sensitive and then a opening curly bracket and a closing one 
do not forget to if you close the class you have to put a semicolon do not forget that otherwise there will be an error in int main so I'm going to type in public actually this is not a need I think but I use it and now I'm going to declare a option of blah, got them. now I'm going to declare the function by typing in void and then the function name and let's say talk open and close brackets enter open curly bracket and close in one and type in something a type a code in cow hello YouTube and anti line of course um, uh, ironically enough you don't have to close this one so now how you get the talk for a uh, talk thingy here uh, in this one it's pretty easy you just have to go to your um, int main of course and then type in YouTube be careful it's case sensitive and then let's say a object that's using the class YouTube um, let's say a for laziness so the object A can use everything what's between those things, between those curly brackets. So I made a uh, object called talk. So when I press A or type in A talk and close, open and close brackets, do not forget them. Also, do not forget the uh, semicolon. I just usually I forget them so. Um, when you do this, it will execute the next one, uh, the next command. So it will declare YouTube or A as a YouTube class. That's will it is so A will use the class YouTube, and that's this one. So A means just um, the object that we declared. Dot talk means that it will execute this command, and it will print hello YouTube. So I'm gonna pause it by system pause pause and a semicolon so let's build it so now you get the same result as when you just uh, see out in this one so when you edit this one you will edit the text that it will uh, output like um, this was a tutorial by me. Ah, uh, that's wrong spell. That's right. So when I compile it and run it again, it will say, "Hello, this was a tutorial by my name." I actually don't know how to speak it, but yeah. Um, so this was the tutorial about the functions um, if you want more tutorials should you just comment beneath it beneath this video and I'll try to make more uh, C++ videos so uh, thanks for watching again and feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me